slots are the number one rescue in, in our program and mainly because they're very slow. My name is Nelson Correa and this is my, my wife, Giselle Janguez. Together we run APPC Wildlife Rescue in Panama and we specialize in rescuing slots. There's different reasons we receive or we rescue slots. One case is construction project when they're eliminated in the forest and they are left behind. Then uh, that also happened when they are also eliminating a, an area and they just move to the backyard of a person or when they are trying to actually change from one tree to the other and they have a, a big highway or road in the middle. That's with the adults. When we do that, we just rescue and we relocate them into the wild. Slots are slow, but when they have to protect themselves, they go aggressive and they can be fast. You have to be very careful. Those claws can open your skin really fast. And if they, can, if they grab you, they're not going to let you go. And if they bite you, it's the same thing. Being right in the middle of the road like that have to be horrible. Just to go from one side to the road for them is like an eternity. When they get stressed, they lose weight, they get weak. So the best thing to do is just 24, 48 hours, let them go. All our babies are orphans. We assume that in some cases, and in, the other, in other cases, we know they're orphans. Why? Because every single one we found was either with a mother that was dead or about to die or motherless. I've been working in, in wildlife rescue my whole life, and I meet a lot of people that can't take care of animals, even baby animals. But I never meet a person that can take care of slot babies like Giselle because of the patience she has especially when they have to eat like every two three hours very very small amount of milk and she has so much patience and she can wait and stay with them I think she's actually becoming a slot right now she looks after eight at the same time she actually dedicate the whole day and night to them from like 6 a.m. to like 11 p.m. because they like any human baby they need 24 hour care all the animals that we have uh, were rescue animals every single one so it's very important for people to understand that uh, we work in wildlife and these animals are not pets uh, once these animals are ready to go back to the wild they will Today is a very exciting day for us because we're going to release Pokey. We found him close to the road. He was by himself. Uh, he was about two, three months old. Um, and, and the mother, I, I was actually hit by a car. And now is a very good time for us to release him because he's been trying to escape uh, for the past few weeks, actually. Um, and he's already trying to look for other trees. So I think he's ready to go. Every time he attempts to escape, he get, he's getting more and more depressed. So uh, we're going to fake an escape. So he thinks he's escaping and then he's going to just be free. Un momento muy sentimental para ti. Yeah, this is a very, um, what do you say, sentimental moment for, for us. Sí. So, but we're happy. We're not sad. We're happy. No. This sí. is, this muy, is a happy tears. No sad. <laughs>